Hey everybody, it's your old pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, bringing you Monday Minutes with a special edition. This time I'm doing it on Sunday. That's right. Uh, you may not know this, but many times I will record my Monday Minutes that same very morning because it's Monday. But in light of this special edition, which I am calling the Australian edition of Monday Minutes, thanks to an Australian who's made some significant change in x lights that I think is going to, dare I say, uh, rock your world. If you're like me and you map sequences with any significant amount of time through your season, and I map a lot, um, you will have experienced the frustration of renaming models and model groups and you might have uh, been in that situation where you felt like i just need to change the name of uh, window one to wendy's window why would you do that i have clients i will literally scream at why did you change the name of your props and your groups why 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 would you do this i, I, I just go nuts because it messes up everything. You open up the sequence again, it seems goes, hey, man, uh, I don't understand what uh, Wendy's window is. Where'd they come from? What do you want me to do with it? Uh, maybe you should just map the whole thing from a zip file and call it a day. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what a waste of time. And I understand why people need to rename things. Look, I renamed my show, and in many ways, I, I, I regretted renaming some things. I went from G-R-O-U-P to G-R-P, and you know, it creates this cascading issue. Certainly because I sell sequences and people will buy some of my sequences from 2018 and those names aren't anything like the sequence names of the props I have today. And all of their props and groups have different names. Now, hopefully, and thank goodness, you don't mess with the names of the HD props from Gilbert Engineering USA because all those submodels are all based on a naming convention that should never change. But we have things like eaves and verts and windows and trees and matrices and various groups. Uh, some people will remember that I used to have the Living Light Show Flakes from Boscoyle way back. And they're very similar to the uh, XLS 450s from Gilbert Engineering, which is what I'm rocking today. So some of those submodel groups will transfer over really well, but they're not spelled the same. So you got to drag and drop, drag and drop or double click. And you have to do this and you got to save a mapping file. And I remember in 2019, I had a conversation with Keith Wesley at Daytona, uh, one of the outings or as back in the bar somewhere about uh, this very subject. The same time I had approached him with the idea of creating a center point focus to lock in that center point. So people, when they had a sequence, if my center point was over here, but theirs needed to be over here, the center point would define that everything is over here. Yay, winning, winning, and it finally happened. Well, we also had a discussion about the idea of using some type of way that if you choose this model, it also means it's like that model, and it would allow the mapping process to be a lot easier. And at the time, I was looking at like drop-down lists, you know, it's a, a specific type of model, like it's a spinner. So if it's a spinner, and that's a spinner, but they're two different things, it's still just a spinner, and bring over the effects for the spinner. It never happened. It never happened. Not like, no, not, not like what I was looking for. Now it has happened. And I'm going to tell you all about it. And I'm going to show you how it works. And this is going to change the way you map. This is going to improve your x lights experience so much. I haven't been this excited since Marion Cherry started working with the rotational model stuff. I'm pretty excited about this. This is going to save you so much time. But before I tell you any more about this, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get going. Here we go. Here we go. All right, you know I like to be different, so I've got a layout here that might look somewhat familiar to you. Uh, let's let's zoom in on this and put me up in this little square right up over here. Yeah. Oh, good one. Good one, Ron. Way to go. Um, this is sort of a modified layout. I've put my mega tree upside down. Don't go do this yet. I did this for a, a drive through I made a suggestion, and they put it upside down tree. And it was really cool. I'm doing this just so I can see the difference. We're going to be working in three different layouts. This is what we will call the layout we would like to import an older sequence in that we know names don't match. And then I have my regular layout with some changes I've made to it that will show you a different way how the importing process might be better. And then I'll show you how to do that with this layout, okay? 
All right, let's get going. <clears throat> In this layout, we have an all pixels group. Uh, we have arches group, triple arches group. We have all, very similar group names to what I would normally have. Okay, fair enough. But I want to bring in a sequence from 2018 called Deck the Halls. And uh, it's, you know, it's, it, it definitely is an older sequence. I'm going to put this on silent. So first thing we're going to do when we bring over a sequence is we have to create the music, right? So I'm going to click on new. I'm going to go with uh, music sequence. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to go to the m -m 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 music to send and then i'm going to type over here deck d-e-c-k and then music to send is right here deck the halls and then 40 frames and done so here's my music so now it's time to import effects so i'm going to click on import import effects i'm going to go to the desktop again because i have a zip folder called deck the halls zip this is from 2018 nothing's been changed in this yet <laughs> it'll probably happen this year so i'm gonna open up this and here's the mapping dialog box that we all have grown to know and love and everything on the right is what is in the original sequence and everything on the left is what's in your show and so if i click auto map let's see how many things automatically transfer over well we've got our arches we've got our canes we didn't get canes group we didn't get all of the floods, uh, the flakes. Do we have individual? We have individual flakes over here, right? Um, no eaves. In 2018, I called uh, my eaves or horizontals. I called them eaves all, and what I call them now is eaves GRP. Okay, so we have to pull things over, and. I'm hoping that after you see this tutorial today, you can stop doing that and just do auto map. Another thing that this is great for is if you buy other people's sequences, this is basically unlimited what you can do, what I'm gonna show you to help ensure that you get all of these effects into the right places from right to left on these models and groups. Okay, let's get started. I am going to just click OK or I'm going to click Cancel. Actually, I'm just going to click Cancel. There, I don't want to bring anything over. What I am going to do is take note of some of the namings here. So we'll do a couple of these. So I, let's just start at the top. Uh, we have Kane's Group. Okay, Kane's Group. Okay, so I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to go to my layout. And I am going to look at my canes. Okay. So in the original layout, it's canes space G-R-U-P. This was just added in 2023.22, I believe by Keith Wesley. And if you click this button down here called aliases, it's brand new, aliases. And the Windows version, while it's not available in the X Lights download, you can still go to GitHub and get the latest version of X Lights on Windows. It's a couple of releases behind compared to the Mac version. Doesn't matter. Click on aliases, and it's going to pop up this little window here that says Model Aliases. And you're going to want to click Add. And then you're going to type in, what do we say? Canes. Don't worry about the uh, punk, don't uppercase, lowercase, doesn't matter. Canes, G R U P. Okay, cool. Click OK. And click OK. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to go over to the original sequence so we can look at this. This is the 2018 sequence. This was what my layout was then. I'm going to go up here and look at this. Arches all. Okay. And if you want to get in uh, sort of a, a good habit of this, a quick way of doing this is right-clicking, click Rename. It's already selected. Hit Command or Control A, then Cancel out of it. Go back to your show. Right-click on the, that was, I think it was Arches. Oh, my goodness. Which one did I just click on? I have to go back here again. 
I was on, oh yeah, Arch is all. So I'll go back to my world I'm trying to change. I'll click on Arch's triple group because that's what I use. And then I'll click on aliases, add, commander control, V as in Victor for paste. And of course, it lost it, didn't it? Uh, let's go back to this one more time. Let's go to Arch is all. Oh, you know what? I, I think I can spell that out. Come on, Ron. Arches all. And then hit OK twice. You'll be good. Let's just do a couple more. I'm going to go back to my old world. I'm going to look for, let's do a big one. How about house all? I call mine all pixels. So I'll go back to the world I'm trying to change. All pixels group. And I am going to add an alias. Add house all and hit OK twice, and it's in there. Let's do one more. Let's go back to the original sequence. And once you get enough of these done, you don't have to go back and do this, okay? Icicles all, fair enough. We'll go back here. We'll look for my icicles. G-H-I's. So I call it icicles group. It used to be called icicles all. Click this, add. Icicles, oop, hello, icicles, all, done. This, <laughs> this is epic, absolutely epic. Okay, I'll come back to this. Now I'm gonna click import. I'm gonna import from the same deck the hall zip file that's on the desktop from 2018. I'm gonna click on auto map. And now you're going to see some things you didn't see before. Look at this, look at this. This is freaking amazing. All Pixels Group has brought over House All. That means if you map over older sequences of mine that had House All in it, they're all gonna auto map. No digging around trying to find this stuff. It's just gonna auto map. Why did this take so long? Why, why did this take so long? This is just monumental, man. I'm telling you, this is so. This is going to help so many people out there. So many people. This is a blessing. I'm telling you, man. This is a blessing. So this works across the board like this, okay? And I'm just going to click OK. It's going to put these effects in here in the sequencer. But there's more to this story. And I think there are some things that can be enhanced upon later or, or things that I want to try to see if it will do. And I don't think it will, but I'm going to try uh, some of the right-click importing process to see what it will do. But there's something else that's really, really neat about this. Things like the XLS Flake, you can do all of this settings so you can bring you know, the, the other LLS Flake and sort of bring those aliases in so that when you map from the older LLS Flakes, those will come in automatically. But what if you change a name? So let's say, for whatever reason, and I don't know why this happens, but it, it just it just does. It just does. Let's say that I change the name Windows Matrix 1 to uh, <laughs> Winder. Winder. There you go. Winder Matrix 1. Watch what happens when I click OK or Tab or get out of there. Save old name as alias. Would you like to save the old name as an alias for this prop? This could be useful if you have sequences already sequenced against this prop using the old name. I'm going to read this again. Would you like to save this old alias as, an, as a name for your alias? They should just remove the ability to click on no here. <laughs> We should just remove that. Would you like to save the old name as an alias for this prop? This could be useful, is, will be useful, if you have sequences already sequenced against this prop using the old name. Yes. Yes is the answer. Because somewhere down the line, you're going to make this mistake and start renaming groups and models. And this is a fail safe so that if you were to change your mind and go back, great. You start opening up your earlier sequences 
don't worry, fine, it's gonna map, it's gonna open it up. You're not gonna get this long list going, wow, man, you really screwed the pooch on this one. You named like a whole bunch of your show. Uh, we recommend you find another type of alternative hobby or simply uh, create a new sequence and import all over again. Yeah, just, just start over because this list is embarrassing. You don't have to do that anymore. Here's the legwork that you're going to have to do. This is what you're going to want to put into this. You're going to want to get your show, your existing show, Halloween, Christmas, both of them, all of them, whatever day Christmas you do, whatever show you do, you're going to want to do this with everything. And you're going to want to start at the top left, and you're going to want to go on your aliases, and you're going to want to start building this based on the sequences that you have that are shared or the ones you purchased. And if you look here, if we like look at the arches, here's my arches alias. I oh, I didn't put that one in yet. Oh, that's because it's my arch alias, my triple arch alias, which is what what I use. There's arches all. We look at my flake arms. Look at my aliases. I haven't done that one yet. Uh, flake group. This is a good one. Chroma flakes all. Some of my older sequences have chroma flakes. One and done. What about individual models? Absolutely. So I have a lot of sequences from the past that have the chroma flakes. And so if we look at a chroma flake uh, or any of these flakes, let's say I have flake A3. Well, that's that top left flake up there. Well, if I have another flake from an older sequence that is just a single flake, well, you better hope that you put that in your alias, which you will find uh, oh, oh, aliases for the models that are at the bottom. They're underneath submodels. You click on that, and you'll see here I put Chroma Flake 1. Do this with all of your flakes. Do this with your canes if you think anyone else has named it differently. All of the sequence vendors have some interesting, unique way that they have named things. Some I don't understand, but you know what? They probably don't understand mine either. It can be tough. Window 1. Window 2. Window 3. Window 4. Oh my gosh, he put GRP at the end of it. Yes, I did. <laughs> for my sanity. This is going to help you in your mapping process and every time you open up a show because something changed, because you had to name it to Wender 1 instead of Window 1. Dude, it's okay. And do that. Don't worry about it. This, I'm telling you, man, I'm more, I think I'm more excited about this than I was the submodels for Marion Cherry. And no disrespect, Marion Cherry, but this is the kind of stuff that x Lights has needed forever because Everybody maps, all right? Almost everybody maps. Just about everybody maps. Okay. If you have any questions, drop them in the lines below. If you need clarification on any of this or you'd like to see some more information on this, let me know. Let me know how this is working for you. You try this out. Kick the tires. Let me know in the comments what you think this is going to do for you or what it's already doing for you. This is just amazing. And uh, I believe Keith Wesley, let's, let's just verify, let's verify. I'm pretty sure, let's look at the release notes. I don't want to accidentally thank the wrong person here. Uh, virtual, 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 show progress. Add model aliases used to improve auto map and handling open sequences with model names that have changed. Yes, that's an enhancement from Keith. Keith, this is probably your single biggest contribution to increasing efficiencies in x lights that I've seen. So thank you for this. This is phenomenal, phenomenal, and going to help so many people. All right, I'm Ron. This has been Monday Minutes. That's all I got for you. Look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.